Hey there, it's JP Bailey, and I'm going to do a full tamping round example on something real. So you will get an example of it, see it in action. You can tap along um, if you'd like. So the first step always is to identify the issue and then to give it a scale of 1 to 10 rating and then to do the tapping. So after much thought, I realized I I need to tap on loneliness. I'm feeling um, neglected and rejected from a family member because of, uh, it's a big long story, but this is how you sort of start your tapping. You kind of start talking about what's upsetting. And when you kind of get to the eye of the storm or when you kind of get to that place where you feel the charge or you almost feel like you could start crying or getting upset, that's when you know you've tuned into it. So, you know, my brother and I were separated at a young age. I really did try to keep in touch with him, but I was so upset and had so many issues because of my mother and my family and everything. I really wasn't able to be present and be myself. Every time I contacted him, I usually was upset or kind of complaining about my mother or something like that. And over the years, we've really lost touch, but every once in a while I get really sad and I want to contact him. So I email, usually I just email, um, maybe once a year we've contacted each other now for, I don't know how many years it's been. So we have kind of a, a we're, we're, we're not upset with each other, but we're not close. We don't talk and there's this big gap and I feel like He's probably one of the more normal ones in my family, and I wish he would accept me, and I kind of feel like rejected, like I'm not good enough yet, um, despite, you know, all the work I've done, my education, my my career and everything. Um, you know, I'll email him something, and I'll try to be a little personal, but not too much, and he emails me back so quick with... I almost feel like it's a customer service line, like he's just very polite, very non-committal, very detached, and, you know, just like pleasant, but no real connection, like, oh, hi, nice to hear from you, hope everything's going well, you know, take care, and I feel so lonely and rejected and abandoned and just, you know, cut off. And there it is. There it is. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I feel like it's like an 8. Like it's not completely devastating, but it really it really hurts. It hurts my heart. And so now I'm going to start tapping on it. On my karate chop point, I'm tapping there now. I'm saying, even though my brother rejects me, I love and accept myself. Even though I feel like my brother rejects me, I love and accept myself. Even though I feel like my brother rejects me, I love and accept myself. And on the eyebrow point, I feel like my brother just rejects me. He doesn't talk to me much. And on the side of the eye, I feel like my brother rejects me. And under the eye, on the bone, this rejection I feel from my brother. Under the nose, I feel my brother rejects me. And now a thought just came up. So on my chin, I'm going to tap on that thought. I feel like he judges me wrongly or harshly. He, he probably thinks I'm crazy and emotional, and he just doesn't want to get involved with that, which I don't blame him. But it still makes me feel rejected. So on the collarbone, this rejection I feel from my brother. And under the arm, this rejection I feel from my brother. Now go to the thumb on the side of the thumb where the nail meets the skin. I'm tapping there. I feel rejected from my brother. On the first finger, this rejection I feel from my brother. On the middle finger, I feel rejected. You typically skip the ring finger, but it doesn't matter. It's not going to do anything one way or another if you tap it or not. And then go to the pinky finger. Even though I feel like neglected or rejected from my brother. And now I'm going to find the gamut spot on the back of my hand, and I'm just going to rub that spot gently while I do the following exercises. You close your eyes for a second, then you open them. Then you look hard down to the right, back to normal, look hard down to the left, 
back to normal. Keep your head straight, but make your eyes move. So we're going to do a nice big circle around a clock. So look way up to the ceiling like it's 12 o'clock and roll your eyes around the clock to 3, down to the floor to the 6, over to the 9, back up to the 12, and then counterclockwise. Nice big roll around back to the 9, down to the 6, around to the 3, back to the 12. Then we do a little counting, humming a song, and counting for left-right brain activation. Goes like this. One, two, three, four, five. And that's that. So now back to the eyebrow point, this rejection I feel from my brother. Side of the eye, this rejection I feel from my brother. Under the eye, this rejection I feel from my brother. Under the nose, this rejection I feel on the chin. I feel rejected on the collarbone. I feel neglected and rejected. Under the arm, I feel rejected from my brother. On the thumb, I feel rejected still from my brother. And the first finger, this rejection. Middle finger, this rejection. <clears throat> Skip to the pinky, this rejection. And then a couple on the top of the head, this rejection I feel from my brother. Lift my hand up, up and off, kind of like I'm letting it go into the spirit. And I shake my hands off a little, take a nice deep breath. And then you tune back into the problem. So, you know, I want to keep in touch with my brother. I don't blame him. I just feel like I miss him. And I wish we had some kind of connection. And he doesn't really connect with me. He just stays real distant. And um, I, I do feel kind of rejected by him or kind of neglected. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I don't think the, the number that popped in my mind just now, that's what I usually go with, and it said a six. So I feel like I did bring the intensity down a little bit from that eight where I felt like I could just start crying and sobbing about this lonely feeling that I hadn't acknowledged in a while. I just kind of try to stay strong, brave, try to be mature and professional and not let things like that bother me. But it does still bother me. So I, now I don't feel so much rejected as, as neglected. I feel like the ne neglect is more important here now. And I don't feel rejected. Like I don't feel like it's personal or like he's doing it on purpose. I don't feel any negative feelings towards him at all. I just feel a little like neglected and a little lonely. So now what I would do with that, since it's a six, it's still a little elevated. Um, I go to the shortcut round, and I'm just going to do a quick little tapping round on this for the remaining feeling there. And so you'll listen to the words I use are slightly different. So on the karate chop point, I'm tapping there. Even though I still have some of this neglect and rejection feeling remaining, I still love and accept myself just the way I am. Even though I still have some of this neglect feeling about my brother, I love and accept myself. Even though I still have some of this rejection and neglect feeling remaining, I love and accept myself. Good. Now on the eyebrow, this remaining neglect feeling, side of the eye, this remaining neglect feeling, under my eye, this, this feeling of neglected that's still there a little bit. Under the nose, this remaining neglect on the chin, this remaining neglect on the collarbone, this remaining feeling of being neglected under the arm, this remaining neglect and top of the head, this remaining neglect and up and off. Take a nice deep breath. I usually shake my hands out a little bit and come back to center, tune in. I feel rejected. I feel neglected. I feel like it's still the same. Like all these years, it really hasn't changed. He hasn't got worse. He hasn't got better. He's stable. He's got a life. It's, I don't know. I just feel like I've, ex I've ex kind of accepted it a little bit more. It doesn't trigger that lonely feeling you know I might write him a little email once a year 
and he might email me right back with some little polite little note and that's okay I mean that's better than nothing first of all it's and it's way better than getting a bunch of crap like some other family members would just you know throw so much stuff at me so at least he's keeping his side of the street clean and clear and he you know maybe just is trying to be polite and he doesn't understand me or whatever I can't really guess what's going on with him he's got his own life we've been separated for a long long time and at least we do keep in touch by email and you know that's that's better than nothing and it's it's okay for now I have lots of friends I have an awesome husband I have you know a lot of support in my life and and that's it's okay I'm just glad I kinda cleared that little trigger that was upsetting to me If I gave it a number on a scale of 1 to 10 now um, I don't know four kind of comes up like but I'm not really feeling much of a charge at all I mean maybe even like down to a two already like I just don't feel it like I don't feel it in my chest in the back of my eyes like crying and stuff that just a few minutes ago I felt I mean less than 10 minutes ago I, I probably could have sat here and cried and been sad all day especially if I ruminated about it or really like got into it and now I feel like I'm in acceptance just from tapping so yeah that's that's <laughs> I feel good and I literally feel good I wanted to do this um, for real and uh, I'm glad I did it because I actually feel like lighter and brighter and then I feel like back to myself again so that's how quickly tapping um, can help just clear up those charges you know that come up to so you can move on forward with your day so I like to say either you know tap on things as they come up or as you remember like a week or two from now something might come up and you go oh let me try that tapping thing or try tapping once a day on just normal everyday issues or perhaps you have a list of issues that you want to start tapping on and every day you know do one or two or three little issues just start with a full round of tapping and then do as many shortcut rounds as you want for that day it really helps the energy system get moving along and not get stuck because that's the problem with with feelings and trauma is it gets stuck and frozen and we kind of hold our breath and we're all tight and we have all these emotions wrapped up in it and we can do insight and talking and venting and journaling and exercise and art therapy and all kinds of you know great things to process it but it's also great to just clear the body's energy system to get that energy flowing so that new fresh energy can come in and just get everything you know circulating right it's like breathing or your blood it has to keep going energy needs to keep moving and the problem comes in is when we go <gasps> Oh my gosh and we get stuck we hold it in because we haven't really like processed it all the way out and that's where tapping really can help get unstuck move forward I hope this has been helpful for you please feel free to leave any comments or suggestions or questions I'd be happy to answer them and help you out thanks so much take care now